Welcome to the Nicholas 11X12 technology. Today we're looking at the Intel Pentium G3258 processor overclocked at 4.7 GHz. The overclock is achievable fairly easily with a decent air or water cooler. There's no need for extreme coolers here with this processor. But without further ado, let's get straight to the benchmarks now. The Intel Pentium G3258 is a beast for its price when overclocked to 4.7 GHz. The performance at stock isn't really that impressive, but once you go and overclock this G3258, you get some pretty good results. For instance, when comparing this G3258 with the more expensive i3-4150, this Pentium does better in rendering as well as in video encoding, as overclocked of course. In most games you get pretty much the same frame rate as with an i3 CPU. Unfortunately, not every game reflects that so well. When deciding to overclock the CPU, you have to be aware of the higher power consumption. You will consume more power than with an i3-4150 for example. However, when looking at AMD CPUs, the overclocked G3258 still draws a little less power than the FX6300. In the end, I'd say it's a good choice to overclock the CPU. It's not just a good choice, but this Pentium CPU is begging you to be overclocked. This seriously could be a great cheap solution for those people that don't have that much money to spend and want to experiment with overclocking in a cheaper way. And I have to say, it's even a fun CPU for the enthusiast, especially when you can overclock and see how much more performance you can squeeze out of the chip. I'd definitely recommend overclocking the Intel Pentium G3258 processor. Thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and visit nicholas11x12techx.com to see videos there earlier than on YouTube.